Yeah. Greetings, comrades. This is Love Again with Caleb, back with another unboxing video. And, uh, sorry if I sound a little exhausted. It's been sort of a stressful week for me. Earlier this week, I had a flat tire while I was shopping and, you know, had to get a tire compressor to refill the tire, then replace it, then take it over to Giddy to get it fixed. So that was fun. And it's been kind of busy at work with well, Mother's Day right around the corner, which, by the way, hopefully you got something for your mother. Remember, she's not going to be around forever, as I've learned the hard way. But anyway, let me straighten the camera just a little more. There we go. It's a little better. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't all gloom and doom for me this week. I've been playing that new Vampire Survivors DLC, Operation Guns. Oh my god, it was worth the wait. And worth all the stress I had to deal with for then. And yeah, I got it for the, the Steam and the Switch. Might get it for the X, uh, the Xbox app later on. And I have an unboxing video because I recently ordered another Hyper King controller. Which yes, you uh, saw my videos about a week or so ago. I recently got the Hyper Ken Xenon, the Xbox 360 style controller. And yeah, I love this controller. You know, if you love the 360 controller, you'll feel right at home with this. Just $50. Again, wired only, but it's so solid. You know, a much better D-pad, probably clickier bumpers, but everything else works. And of course, the supposedly Hall Effect joysticks. I looked through different like descriptions of this. And none of them really had a fit of answer whether these are Hall Effect joysticks. So, again, you saw the video, only a 1% error rate. So, unless this is some brand new potentiometer technology to make them a lot more accurate than previous models, these are Hall Effect joysticks. I can't think of any other reason. But anyway, yeah, I love the controller so much. And I recently got this, and I apologize for this. Um, instead of Putting in a separate box like they usually do. Amazon just put the label on the, the control box itself. So, thank you for this, Amazon. Thank you for your lack of proper labeling. I would really love to have kept this box in a better shape than this. But anyway, the Hyperkin Duke. That's right. I decided to try out the OG Xbox controller in its 2021 incarnation. Yes, I say that because you can see the 20 on here. That's because this is about the 20th anniversary of the Xbox. For those who don't know, the original Xbox came out way back in 2001. Yep, feeling old yet? I sure do. I didn't get an Xbox to 2003, but we were playing a lot of Halo, you know, Mech Assault, you know, the Mortal Kombat games like Deadly Alliance and Deception, you know, they're sort of divisive, but I still enjoyed them. And especially the amount of content they had. This is way before DLC became the norm. But yeah, this is the Duke controller. It's based on the original Xbox controller design, which is the Duke, the huge controller, which uh, later we became redesigned as the Xbox S controller, which was what most uh, Xbox games recognize. In fact, Hyperkin is actually releasing a version of that controller called the Duchess. It's not out yet, but if you've seen articles circulating around, you'll know it. Uh, it's almost spot on to the original design for the Xbox S controller. And I figured until then, I'd give the, the Duke controller a try. Now, funny, fun fact, I actually had a Duke controller back in the original Xbox. I bought it from my local like, retro game store a while back. Granted, it didn't work because the... Uh, the cable on it was kind of gnawed and it doesn't work anymore, but I wanted to get it anyway for, just for the the novelty of having the original big door. It disappeared now. I have no idea where it went. Which is, you know, but it wasn't a huge loss. Like I said, it didn't work. The, the cable's all gnarled up and it wouldn't it wouldn't even register. So yeah. So anyway, the Hyperkin Duke controller, just like the Xenon. And the Duchess later on, it's wired only, so you need a wire. And this is actually justified because this center part here, you can barely tell from the crappy labeling here. Uh, this is actually a little screen that shows, when you first power it on, it shows the original Xbox boot sequence. And then 
it shows the uh, current Xbox logo. And this is the home button. So yeah, yeah, you can't see with the label, but the home and share buttons are going to be down here. Celebrating 20 years of Xbox. Yes. This actually came out way back in 2021. And I'm surprised there's so many of these limited edition ones on Steam. Now, the original Duke controller actually came out before this, but it used micro USB. This is Type C, which is awesome. And here are the Hyperkin Duke special Xbox 20th anniversary design. Original Xbox animated startup screenplay right inside the Xbox button. Vibration feedback for realistic experiences and six foot detachable Type C cable. And the bumpers, yeah, this has bumpers. The original did not, because the original Xbox Wars didn't have bumpers, they just had triggers. The bumpers mirror the black and white buttons, which are still on here. Precision analog triggers and 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So yeah, this came, again, this came out way back in 2021. Now this, the Hyperkin Duke Control has actually been out well before this, but like I said, it only had micro USB from what, I, from what I've heard. But this is type C. And here's the uh, unboxing sequence. Okay, got a little foam pad here, which covers this. It's the Hyperkin Do Quick Start, Start Guide. You know, the usual, you know, don't play it, you know, don't throw it in the, the snow, you know, don't use it as a headrest, you know, don't feed it to your dog. Another Hyperkin sticker. And thank you for your purchase and support. Play well. I'll try to. And here is the controller itself. Now, it feels pretty solid. Though, I will say this, I've had, I've seen, like, mixed things about the controller, saying how the left uh, trigger gets stuck, and the thumbsticks don't uh, stop responding. I'm not sure, hope I got lucky to draw here. But anyway, here it is. Got the 20 logo here. And oh boy, I would say this brings back memories, but I didn't really have any memories with the Duke controller. Again, we mainly use the Xbox S controller, the you know the one we all recognize. And I'm definitely gonna get the Duchess controller whenever that comes out, whenever that may be. But uh, feeling the hand, yeah, triggers feel nice. Thumbsticks feel good, though this one is a little more convex than this one. This is a little more, it's a little bit more of a concave dip in the middle where this one's fairly noticeable. The D-pad, this looks interesting. Not just because it's green, you know, it's kind of, you know, it feels okay. Certainly feels better than the 360's D-pad, I've got to admit. But here are the uh, share option and menu buttons down here. Here's the face buttons. They feel pretty nice. Not sure how they compare to the original. Here. And the bumpers, where the heck are they? Well, Right there, right there. Yep, these are the bumpers, and oh wow. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> I do not like this bumper placement. <laughs> like, look how much, look how much far to reach my index fingers while holding this controller. Like, you know, playing it normally like this, right? You know, you know fingers on the triggers, you know, your thumbs on the thumbsticks. Then you reach for the bumpers. Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit of a reach there. I mean, they rest on the tips of my fingers here and I can press them, but that does not feel comfortable in the slightest. And I'm not sure what they were thinking there. They could have, you know what they should have done? They should have put the bumpers here, like right here, like, Right there, at least there, it's a little more, com little more, not as much strain on your fingers, but up here, yeah, that's uh, not a design choice I would have went with, but it's you're lot, pro you're probably most likely not going to use these because you got to remember when we're playing the original Xbox, they didn't have bumpers, they had just triggers. The bumpers didn't come to the 360 days, so I guess this shows a good reason for. It. Hopefully, the Duchess fixes that design flaw there. But uh, yeah, again, these bumper, these bumpers, they mimic the black and white buttons. So you're probably going to be pressing these here instead of reaching for these. But it feels surprisingly comfortable. I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to take this 
screen protector off. And I would plug it in, but my computer's like over there and I'm on my bed. I'm on my bed. You see the reflection there. Hello. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does feel nice in the hands, I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious how it plays. And I'm curious if it's just like the Xenon it has quote unquote Hall Effect joysticks. I'm not too sure. I'll find out as soon as I fire it up. But uh, only other thing is the cable. It has six foot, so nice, nice and green. So, you know, definitely mimics the original Xbox design. And apparently this is, yeah, it shows a controller stand. It's just an advertisement for it. I already have one. I'll probably use it for this because the uh, other one I have, yeah. Not exactly meant for a controller of this size. So, anyway, I guess I'll show a little clip later on showing the boot sequence on the controller itself. So, in the meantime, this is Evan and Caleb signing out. Y'all have a good day. One thing I forgot to mention, you know, the original Xbox drawers had memory card slots. This does not, as well. You don't use memory cards anymore. It's all on USB drives and solid state drives. Anyway, Here's the uh, Xenon cable. Ready? Ah, memories. Suck it up, life's tough, we know that Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path I don't need no handouts, I'm my own man Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah Man, I only get down with the best, uh I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh